Today I'm going to show you how to apply the eight-piece longboard kit, uh, as well as the tail pad. The most important step is getting the board prepared. So what I've done is I've removed all the wax that's been building up on this board over the years, cleaned it all back with some wax remover and degreaser. And uh, as you'll see, there's a few little heel dents in the board, and I wish I'd had it from when the board was brand new because it does help prevent some of this damage to the surfboard. First of all, all I do is lay the grip out on the board with a little bit of masking tape to hold it in place so I know where it's going to sit on the board. Then I mark the center line stringers on any areas that may be overhanging. As you can see, I've moved this piece in to the center line just a little bit to make it line up. Once it's in place, simply mark the center line of the stringer on the grip. Then take a nice sharp razor blade or scalpel and cut downwards from the top of the grip downwards, not from the bottom up, very important. Then place it on the board where it needs to be. Do a final check to make sure everything lines up and then it's time to start applying the grip. You may already have a tail pad on your board or maybe put your grip over the entire board. This is the eight piece pack, two, four, six, eight. And I've already laid them out on the board, marked up the areas where I want them to sit, cut out any areas that need to be cut, rounded off any sharp corners. And then of course, put it back onto the board Recheck to make sure everything was okay and tape it all in place and we're almost ready to get started. First the tail bed, the arch bar and the kicker and then the two side pieces and then working forwards from there. I'm going to do the nose second last to make sure that that's all nicely lined up, mostly for aesthetic purposes. And then the final piece just behind the nose to finish it off. So it's time for lucky last. Seems a shame to cover up the manufacturer's logo, but as you'll see in just a minute, once it's got water on it, it goes almost totally transparent. Anyway, time to finish it up. So there you have it, a tail pad the entire board covered from tail to nose and what that means is no more wax in the car, no more sand in the wax, no more having the surfboard stuck on the inside of the board cover, no more looking for wax cones or wax on a cold winter's morning, no more changing wax when you go to a hot, hot overseas destination. And the good part about it is this beautiful, beautiful resin job and the clear water logo, nice and clearly visible as well. No more wax ever.